yes, it is now time for the weekly challenge. I have two great questions for you, so you can think about them before we come to class, and I'll answer them, or we'll talk about them and discuss them in class this week. Here's the first question. So we define hyperbolic functions as particular combinations of exponentials. For example, hyperbolic sine is e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. Now the natural question is whether it's... I mean, if you can write hyperbolic functions in terms of exponential, is it possible to write the inverse hyperbolic functions in terms of the natural logarithms? Seems to make sense, right? How can you do that? Well, I'll let you think about it. Try it. You'll see. It's not so obvious, but it is possible. So try it, and we'll come back to that in class. And here's my second question, which is perhaps even more interesting. We've seen that hyperbolic and trig functions satisfy very, very similar identities. However, they seem to be defined in completely different ways, right? The hyperbolic functions are defined in terms of exponentials, while uh, trig functions are defined in terms of trigonometry. How can that be that they are so similar, but defined in so different ways? How can we relate, relate the two sets of functions? Another way of asking the same thing is, is it possible to write trig functions in terms of exponentials? Good question. Here's a hint for question two. Euler's formula, complex numbers. Try it out. 